The ball rolls down a hill with a constant acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. If it starts from rest, what is the speed at the end of the 4 seconds? Alright, so let's start with a picture of what's going on here. Here's my, here's my hill. You can give me an angle, so I'll just kind of guess something like that. Got a ball at the top. Um, it starts from rest, it says. I'll go ahead and label that. And that means that V0, my initial velocity, is equal to 0. It gives me an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. So A is equal to 3 meters per second squared. And it's going down the, the hill. And I want to know what the speed is after 4 seconds. So I'll draw the ball down here, and I'll say final velocity is what I'm after. Okay, so let's get started. Part A, I'm going to look at my list of givens here. So if I look at givens, these are the things that I know. I know that the initial velocity is equal to zero. I know the acceleration that gave me that to be three meters per second squared. And the time is equal to four seconds. And I'm looking for the final velocity. So what am I going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to find the final velocity. This will be an easy one step process. I'm going to use the relationship V equals V naught plus AT. And I chose this because it has all the variables that are listed on the givens plus the unknown. So the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity, which is zero, plus AT. So that's going to be three meters per second squared. Let me add some parentheses. Times the time of four seconds. So the final velocity is pretty easy. It's three times four, which is 12 meters per second. Part B, how far did the ball move in that four seconds? So how far did the ball move? So in this case, I'm going to find the displacement. There we go. And to find the displacement, I'm going to use a different equation. Using my givens above, I could use the 12 meters per second again, but just in case I made a bad calculation, I don't want to repeat the answer and propagate the error. So I'm going to use my original givens plus the letter x, in other words, the displacement. So I'm going to use this equation, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half at squared. x equals, well, x naught for us right now is always zero. Initial velocity, ooh, that's zero too. So zero times t, that's just zero, so I'll leave that alone. Plus one half the acceleration, which is three, let me undo that, make it bigger, three meters per second squared. My time is four seconds squared. Okay, so x is equal to, let's see, four seconds squared is 16, half of 16 is eight, three times eight is 24. So x is equal to 24 meters, and it's just at the bottom of the hill.